Hey you all, hey Lynn Vibe Crew, welcome to another video. If you are returning, welcome back you all. Thank you so much for your time, your energy. Welcome to our space. We're going to get into the collective reading for the energy between January the 28th through February the 3rd, okay? So we're going to look into what this collective message would be. And what I would like to encourage and inform you all is that all they can take from you, baby, are notes, okay? All they're able to take from you are notes, is what spirit wants you all to know today. For the collective divine message, please. You know, we've already shuffled, meditated before the reading. So we're going to get into some of this energy here. What else? Thank you. All right, beautiful. So, the first card we have here is Mama Wata, which is memory. And as you know, water holds memory. Water is emotion. Water is an information. And I do feel a transformation when it comes to your thoughts, when it comes to your energy, the space that you're in. And a lot of people are beginning to cover and protect themselves, being more serious about themselves, being more serious about their transformation, their health, their awareness, okay, their senses. A lot of people are getting really keen, like into focusing on their senses and how their energy is being transmuted, the things that they attract, things that come to them, um, and also just being able to be the lighthouse for their path, their personal journey, okay, their personal transformation. All right. I do feel like a lot of people are being properly like fed in a sense I'm getting. You could be enjoying fine cuisines, dining, or you could just be relaxing and just feeding your soul with just comfort. Okay. I'm loving this because you're really just getting more in tune with things that you need and actually filling your own cup is what I'm getting for this. All right. The transformation card is also here, all right, which confirms some form of change, some form of transformation is on the horizon. And I definitely love that you're really focusing on your journey, focusing on your path. Look at the eyes on this image here, on this black horse, just riding through your changes with visual focus on things that's going to be um, able to just fight, like going through your battles. And there's a door here. This reminds me of a door. Just head on, vision, strategy. Not blindsiding yourself, but actually a, a willing participant in your changes, in your transformation, in your uh, your focus for yourself here. When it comes to your memories, just to bring uh, certain attention to certain um, feelings and also just things that need to be healed here. The loyalty, confirmation, loyalty to yourself, loyalty to your progression, loyalty to not only looking well, feeling well, but being well, being at peace, being able to kind of like make peace with certain things in the past that definitely try to keep you um, unhealed or bothered into a place where you are allowing not to let these things bother you, but making peace with them. At the bottom of the deck here, we have look up. <clears throat> All right, look up, keeping that optimism here. And bliss is also here. And aura is also here. And I love this wisdom card, right? Gaining wisdom, gaining insight, gaining the ability to, to love, to care, to increase this aura, increase this, this energy, um, actually working from the inside out, opposed to the outside in, and looking up and enjoying that bliss, okay? Creating that wisdom, the opportunity that is also within that wisdom, 
opportunity within wisdoms, creating your own tradition, reevaluating your tradition for the collective divine. Any other messages from this deck as it contributes? Transcend is here. Transcend. So a lot of you are transcending past old beliefs, old patterns, old traditions. We have the legacy card here, right? Being mindful of the words that you, you excel, the energy that you excel, the energy that you put out, okay? Conjuring is also here, all right? Freedom, freedom of expression, freedom of your intuition, of your knowing, okay? Freedom to be able to be successful, okay? To be happy, to be peaceful, Look above. Magic. It says alignment. Alignment. So I feel like a lot of you are getting into your craft, your creativity. You know, recognizing that you have the Midas touch. Recognizing that what you speak, you know, and how you feel contributes to your growth, contributes to your expression, your creativity to your magic, okay? Your touch contributes to the magic and how healing it is for you, how healing it is for expression, how healing it is for the collective. You're able to shine light in these areas to be an example of, hey, you don't have to be in this rat race. You don't have to be, you don't have to look down. You don't have to be able to just be stuck in these cycles that you can actually contribute and receive this energy as well by being able to be expressive or, you know, do something different or transcending or growing or getting out of those patterns. And I feel like you could be shining. You could be shining. You could be glowing. And you could be allowing these people to, to have that, you know, will to be your, your inspiring. So with being this inspiration, you know, yeah, there, that is why Spirit is saying that don't worry about this energy. Don't worry about, you know, like you're, you're stepping into a teacher, into a coach, into something more than you know, and that it's okay for them to be able to, to see you for at this phase and level in which you, you are in. And some of you could not, could be new to to instruction or, you know, curriculums or doing things to, to teach or to recognize people are going to gravitate towards you. And that you are this epitome of this example. So yeah, a lot of you are stepping into teacher roles, okay? Coaching roles, mentor roles. Um, and I love that for you. Being able to be mindful of the words that you are speaking. Transcending different thoughts and patterns and beliefs of yourself and others. To bring that light, harmony, balance, information. Um, you know, getting that getting that going, okay? So there's going to be some unions. There's going to be some collaborative efforts here. All right? And future love letter, I love you. Reflection, coaching people on reflection on meditation, on self-love, on, you know, being focused to contribute to your goals, your vision, your ambitions, you know, how where you see yourself, how you see yourself. A lot of you are going to be mentoring people, talking to people, or a lot of you are going to be reaching out to other mentors to collaborate and discuss ways that you are able to get to the next phase in your life, your creativity, you know, different life coaches. I see here, this is very, um, very good energy. So just be ma making sure that you're taking personal notes, making sure that you are allowing yourself to, to be more open to this shift and change in direction of coming from a person who was experienced things and, you know, had these certain ideas to implementing um, change to, to contribute to the collective on a more personal level, a more, um, um, how can I say, uh, instruction, like an instructor type of level, okay? And I love that. It's going to bring more harmony. It's going to bring more peace, 
beyond, you know, these, these lessons, these lessons, these healings, these modalities, these tools are going to allow more peace and understanding and breakthroughs through you, through you, okay? It's already happened. So make sure that you're trusting yourself, okay? Don't be offended by what you may consider deem as haters. Trust me, yes, they are watching you. Trust me, yes, they are seeing you. They may not love up your video, like up your video, subscribe or comment up the video, but trust me, you know, that energy is there. So if you feel the energy is too much, if you feel people pulling at your energy too much, then consider some ways of protection, of recalling your power back, of making sure that these people know that your energy is not to be played with, tampered with, or fucked with, okay? And if they try to do this, just make sure that you, they, your your ancestors your, and guys or whatever energy you work with, source energy, is there to make to be at defense, okay? And any ill will, negativity, be returned to them nine times, okay? Nine times, generationally, okay? Because we're not just playing with you, we're taking the whole clan, all right? So... Let's go ahead and get some messages here. And this is for the collective for the energy of January the 28th through February the 3rd. And if you are still here, make sure you are liking up the video, loving up the video, commenting, subscribing, share the video up, okay? Thank you all so much for your time and energy. Welcome to my space. And this is for the collective January the 28th through February the 3rd, okay? What message do we have to go to for the collective? Alright, for the collective to our spirit. What do we have for the collective? We can take a Copycats. <laughs> I feel a lot of copy energy, but it's okay. Don't worry about them, you know, because all they can do is take notes. All they could do is take notes. You have to focus on your passion. Spirit wants you to ignite your passion. And don't allow, you know, imitation rituals or anything of that nature to try to keep you grounded. Spirit is telling you this is your time to ignite your passion. This is for you to focus on you, not focus on the next person. Spirit wants you to bring in the light. You have messages that are needing to be shared, that are need, needing to be given to your collective, to the ones you're looking to reach in our, and or need to reach. You have to schedule yourself in, okay? Schedule yourself in to be able to be able to like bring, have time to, to curate. Have time to like make your magic because the energy is all about magic. So you have to ignite your passion, bring in these information, schedule yourself in. And also Spirit wants you to know that it's time for you to transform. It's time for you to make these changes for your finances. Allow yourself to receive, okay? Allow yourself to give. You have to open this door. It's time to open the door here. We also have loosen your grip and also live your purpose. So it's time for you to get out of that cycle of that repetitiveness of just, you know, the, the oopsie daisy, lapsy daisy, whatever it is, that time of just, you know, what you thought. Because it's time for new energy to come into you. Spirit is trying to transform you. Spirit wants you to go deeper. Okay. Also, it's time to get laser focused. All right. Also, get out of your comfort zone is also here. And see the magic. Okay, this is the second magic card. See the magic. And I feel like you're worried about the wrong things. You know, I feel like these people that you are worried about or that are in your space, you have to be the bigger picture. Spirit is saying that you are the bigger picture. You are the light. Okay, you are the information. You are the one that is getting these messages. You know, and oftentimes, you know, being a creator... Being a person who is able to get these messages that is tapped in, you know, 
it's like you 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 are that you are that beacon of light you are that beacon of light and you are that inspiration all right some things are just natural for some people and other people they have to take notes other people have to kind of live vicariously through the originator you know but it's okay other people are meant to be echoes all right some people are meant to be echo and they don't have that ability to be original and you have to allow yourself to be the person to be to to be the person that you need to be at the bottom of the deck it says get out of your own way and get into balance here you have to find your calm you're worried about the wrong things focus on your mission your purpose what you're here to do don't worry about everything else it's going to rise into place okay and just be yourself, okay? Competition doesn't exist where we are, okay? The only thing that exists where we are is our creativity, okay? Our creativity, our abundance, our truth, okay? This is for the collective divine spirit. What message do we have for the collective January the 28th and 30 and through February the 3rd? January the 28th and February the 3rd for the collective. What final message is that we have for them to All right, achievements. Okay, achievements are in order. Focus on your goals. Focus on the work. Okay, also focus on the love. All right, stay focused on the love. All right, towards your path and all things do with love. Right, and all things do with love. Any other messages for me? fun all right and have fun while doing it okay have fun while doing it work socialize with people that you that are assisting that that, that share the same vision goals and plans right not the thing not the people that's just you know bystanding but the people that's actually here to is support and we have angel numbers we have confirmation all right nine eight two and five okay so we need to find some balance in things that are uncomfortable, okay? Find harmony in things that are comfortable, uncomfortable by placing love and focus in our direction here is what I'm getting from this energy, okay? Also, make sure that you are paying attention and seeking that divine guidance at all times. That 33 master number showed up, okay? And also, healing is here. So, there's you're, you're, meant, to, you're meant to heal, okay? So, let's get these emotions under control, that's not allowing you to have harmony and balance, okay? And increase your reach with globe and possibilities. You have to make sure that you're staying focused. Surrender, okay? Surrender. Surrender to things that is beneficial to you. The final card, Spirit. Yeah, release those distractions, okay? So that way you can focus on your the end goal, okay? Focus on your divine purpose, all right? Spirit wants us to focus on our purpose during this season, okay? My love, if you're still here, make sure you like it up, love it up, subscribe it up, comment it up. Leave your zodiac in the comment section. I'm looking to see what zodiac signs are here. Um, so that way we could go ahead and start doing some zodiac signs. So let me know what your sign is. All right. If you're new here, welcome. Hopefully there's something you were able to take from this. See you next time. Much love, Healing Vibe crew.